Hey, how's everybody going? It's Grim. So today I'm going to be making a video about the hand, which is Okiasu stand from part 4, and why it's so scary, and why Keicho was right when he said that. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing a series on this about the part 4 stands, being why they're all just terrifying, right? Which would be uh, Crazy Diamond, Echoes, Star Platinum, Killer Queen, possibly Shigechi's stand Harvest, possibly some more if you want to see more, something like... Uh, Bad Company, or even Red Hot Chili Pepper, why the part four stands are just incredibly terrifying. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So first of all, I want to go over when Okiasu meets Josuke. This is about in episode four or three, I can't remember which one, but it's the one where Okiasu and uh, Josuke meet up for the first time, and not really on great terms. So... This pretty much happens after the uh, water fight with the water sand, I can't remember his name, but that one, where Jotaro and Josuke beat the crap out of it, and Josuke makes the guy into a rock. So, Josuke and Okiasu meet up outside of Okiasu's house, and he pretty much gives him a rundown on his stand power as the villain, or the villain stand-in, which is Okiasu right now, usually does. You know, they say, Oh, well, my power does this and my power does that. Similar to how Killer Queen does the same thing where, uh, you know, Killer uh, K Yushikage Kira just says, Oh, well, my, my Killer Queen bites the dust. It goes back in time. If you talk to me about me, then you go back in time, right? And then he's he's just on this whole rampage and he's, he just keeps talking. He's like, I, I am the most powerful stand user. And then he just keeps, you know, talking about how he's the powerful guy and... All the villains usually do that, for example, I believe Red Hot Chili Pepper does it too, just goes in like a monologue about what his uh, stand does. I, um, Dio does it with the world, he's like, my stand is the most powerful stand because it can stop time after the uh, ability is revealed, that is. I believe he's the only one that does that, actually, who doesn't reveal his power before it's revealed. So something like where, uh, I guess, White Album, he just like, oh yeah, I'm Ice Guy, dude. I'm Silver Surfer, I'm, I'm freaking... Uh, Yuri on Ice, dude, I'm Victor Nikivara, but you know what I mean? They basically just go at the beginning, they're like, yeah, this is what my power is, and Okiasu's like, I can erase anything with my right hand, and Josuke's like, ooh, that's kind of scary, but then Josuke's like, oh yeah, he's dumb, no, it's not, but I'm here to talk about why it would be scary if Okiasu was big brain, was light Yagami, was uh, Lelouch, or something like that, right, and he had big brain on him, what would happen with this stand, what he would do, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I, I believe the first thing that he would do is, um, or that he could do, I guess, because he wouldn't, because he's dumb, he's big retard, but basically, he would scrape away space in front of him to teleport him uh, forward, I guess. So in the scene where Josuke and Okiasu, this is the one time I just really noticed, like, well, Okiasu was stupid. When they're running, and obviously Josuke might get caught behind, but since he erases the space, I don't know how that would work. Basically, Okiasu would jump ahead and go faster while he's running instead of just going normal speed running, right? And Josuke doesn't really think of this either because he doesn't tell Okiasu. But I believe if Okiasu was a little bit smarter, he could have thought, oh, well, maybe I can erase time in front of me or space, I guess, in front of me and just go ahead, right? And or erase uh, Shigechi's space and make him closer to us, something like that, right? I don't know why he didn't do that. The fight would have ended there instead of on the rooftop. Nobody, nobody would have uh, got to get hurt. It'd all be fine. But of course, Okiasu is big dumb. He doesn't think about that. So yeah, the next reason why the hand is super scary is because it can erase anything. Now, that means literally anything except for time, because that's what King Crimson does. But basically, Okiasu can technically erase literally anything. That's why there's so, memes, so many memes about um, erasing certain things on the internet, right? <laughs> Big funny. But basically, he can literally erase anything he wants to. He could erase uh, Josuke's body and make him Shusuke. That could be canon. That is technically canon because anything is technically canon in JoJo, right? Because, you know, Diavolo dies in, fin in infinity time. I don't know if that's a spoiler. I guess that's a spoiler. But I, what were you going to expect coming into a stand analyzation? Are you, are you dumb? <laughs> so, yeah, I'll give a spoiler warning for that. But anyways, I just think overall Okiasu stand is more powerful in the sense that it can erase anything. Think of one other stand that can erase anything besides the world over heaven. 
besides Heaven's Door. I think Heaven's Door is the other one I need to make a video about because that stand is incredibly scary, dude. If it wasn't in the hands of Rohan and literally anybody else, it would not be safe. It would not be a safe thing to have. Maybe Koichi, maybe. But even then, I mean, he might have erased the Bichi. I don't know. But basically, Ogaster Stand is powerful, so you gotta know going into this further. Now, another thing that sucks about Okiasu and being big, small brain, big retard, is the fact that he hesitates. And I know this isn't necessarily a dumb thing to do, but it's something that, you know, makes him less powerful because he hesitates to do things. I don't know if that's because he actually doesn't want to and it's a moral thing, or if he just doesn't want to know how to do it, I'm not sure. I'm not that kind of analyst, I haven't watched part 4 in quite a while, but you get what I mean when I say like he hesitates and stuff. When he's trying to erase something, he just goes like, ha <laughs> zahando. I guess, I guess another part that you could relate, maybe if it's a moral standpoint, is the fact that when Okiasu's eating spaghetti, he's like, nah dude, this man is just, uh, is just another stand here, not even a stand here, he's just like, nah, this man is cool, he's eating, he's giving me good food, he's replacing my teeth, and I, I, I don't know, dude, that, that, that guy's weird, Tonio is cool though. But basically, yeah, Okiasu's stand could, I mean, I don't know, a stand wouldn't make him hesitate, but maybe he has a moral thing that's like, oh, well, I don't want to kill this guy, I don't want to erase him, I don't want to... Which brings me to another point on how Vanilla Ice, or I guess, is it Cream? I think it's Cream, Cream is the stand. Why Cream is so similar to the hand and the fact that they both, well, Okiasu and Vanilla Ice, I guess, both don't know where the void goes because they both have a void, clearly. Um, somebody meets their end. I'm not gonna say who, because I already gave a spoiler warning. I don't wanna spoil too much. But somebody goes, boom, bye, here are my hands, right? Like, uh, it, yeah, um, kind of a surprising death, right? But it's pretty much Okiasu stand with limited range. And not to say that's uncreative, but it's just like, it, it could, I mean, there could be a family of stands at work here, right? Where it's like, you know, how Star Platinum and the world kind of both stop time where King Crimson, Cream, and the Hand kind of erase something, right? I mean, that could be that could be one of the things that could be said about a stand family, I guess. I don't know if that's confirmed in any further parts, but you know what I mean when I say like there are there are multiple stands with stand families. I I'd, I'd say like something like Foo Fighter stand with the army and um uh Shigechi stand harvest. They're both like little poop fart things that run around. Keichoni Jimura stand, um, Bad Company, is the same way as Shigechi's, so there could be a stand family at work here, although I doubt it because Diavolo is way smarter than Okiasu, and I believe that uh, Vanilla Ice is a bit too mentally unstable to be anything like Okiasu. Now, I'm not saying that they're genetically related, I'm more so leaning towards the side that maybe the stand arrow did something, and they like the same blood type, or something like that, where it's like stain and how we can freeze people for different times, uh, based on what their blood type is, same for my hero by the way. So yeah, I'm, I'm there, that might be something that could be possible. I don't know if that's possible, but it could be. It could be a thing to think about, right? And now, another thing that I think about Okiasu when I think of how dumb he is, is the fact that in the ending, right, when he's fighting against Kira, I, don't, I couldn't really consider fighting against Kira, maybe, but in the final battle against Kira, how he just doesn't think to look behind him sometimes or erase something sometimes. Now, I could be wrong, and this could be something that's like it was out of his control, but I'm pretty sure if Okiasu wasn't that dumb, like he could have erased the bubble or erased space to like teleport him or Joe Scare, whatever the case may be. I don't exactly remember the fight, but what I do remember is that Okiasu just got like boom, bam, like Minecraft griefed, right? Like he just died. Ki well, kind of. I, I don't know. If, you have, if you've seen part 4, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, if you haven't, then whatever. Basically, he's he's alive, but, you know, he, he technically dies at the same time. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, after he quote-unquote dies and he comes back, that is the only big brain moment that he has when he, like, scoops away the bubble and he's like, yeah, your flower is now mine, Kira. And then he takes the flower and he's like, this is... Well, he doesn't even use it. Yeah, another point. Why doesn't he use the flower? <laughs> he could have used the flower in so many uh, circumstances, right? Whereas he could have shot a couple bubbles at Kira, or he could have used it to, I don't know, 
explode his head when Jotaro stopped time, like if he, I mean, before Jotaro stopped time, I guess, because Kira can't see the bubbles either, right? But at the same time, you know how, you might you might, you might, might be typing in the comments already going, well, technically Oshikage Kira put his explosions in the bubbles. Yeah, well, what about um, Okiasu's erased space? Could he do something like that? Could he possibly, with Stray Cat, put something in the bubbles that would erase Yoshikage Kira? I don't know. That is something very interesting to think about, though. And now that I just thought about that, what about Sticky Fingers? Would Sticky Fingers be in the Stan family? I don't know. But basically, I just think Okiyasu is extremely overpowered, except for the fact that he is mentally unstable. Kind of. I don't know if you want to call him stable, but he's, he's a bit he's a bit not thinking he's a bit retard when he comes to his thought process right and that's what i think makes shoujo so interesting is all the different characters so yeah thank you guys for watching next video i'm probably gonna make a video about rohan and heaven's door or crazy diamond and josuke or star platinum and jotaro or something like that let me know if there's a specific stand that you want me to cover in my stand analysis if you want to call it that i don't know what i'm going to be calling it probably just why why stands are scary right like the hand is an incredibly terrifying stand so yeah in the next video i'm just going to go over some other things and i'll just see you in the next one